Hi, it's Mickle the Pickle here. So, planting pineapples can be a fun activity to do at home. The problem is, from the time that you cut the top of the pineapple off and plant it, to the time you actually have an edible pineapple, it can take almost two years. So, I thought, why don't I just do it for you, and then I can sell them. So, that's what I'm going to do today. So, you can see behind me, I have, I believe, maybe about 15 uh, pineapple tops and we're gonna plant them today. So with pineapples all you need to do is cut the top off and then plant it in some dirt and once you've done that it'll grow its own root system and start growing up from the top. Around our property we have about 10 pineapple plants that we've planted in maybe the past 15 years. Pineapple plants are very hardy and can grow in very dry soil without much sunlight and water. You really just need to put them in the ground and leave them alone and this makes them an awesome plant to grow. The problem with them is they, each individual plant only grows one pineapple and it takes almost two years. If you're clever about it, you can get maybe around three pineapples per plant, but it will take multiple years if you extract the pups and the suckers from the pineapples, but that just acts like another pineapple head. You still have to wait almost another two years. You can see this pineapple plant is maybe about 20 months old and it's got a little mini pineapple on there. So if you're wondering why would you even plant pineapples, there's a couple reasons. First off, they're a very pretty plant. They can also grow in pretty much any condition and they produce amazing tasting pineapples. The reason is, well, one of the reasons is because pineapples from the store are typically picked quite a while before they're actually ripe and pineapples don't continue to ripen off the plant, they just rot. That's not the case for other fruits, but pineapples are an exception. So the pineapples that you get can be ripened completely on the plant and it tastes amazing. But because the almost two year wait holds a lot of people back from trying to grow a pineapple, I thought I'd take the responsibility of adding this to my business in nursery and I'd grow the pineapple plants until they're fruiting and then I'd sell them to people for a high margin. If you want to see my other plants around my nursery and me starting this business, I can show you around, just leave a comment down below. So I'm just around the other side of my garden and you can see there and with the ones I'm holding, I have purchased about a thousand or exactly a thousand of these black plastic pots for a thousand and fifteen dollars fifteen dollars being delivery so this shows that if you buy your products online it is potentially far cheaper than getting them one at a time I don't think any retail store would have a thousand pots so this is how I'm gonna start my business I'm gonna plant all my plants in uh, this size of pot this size pot would typically cost maybe about five dollars at the retail store and I'd have to carry them all the way home. So it's a no-brainer getting them online. But with that said, let's put the pineapple plants in these. So I've got 13 pineapple plants, so I'm going to obviously put out 13 pots to hold them. Now unlike other fruit trees, pineapples actually can grow in pretty small pots. There's a couple reasons why. The main reason is that the root system of the pineapple is actually very small. In addition to this, um, the pineapple doesn't produce a lot of uh, organic matter according to its size. It'll produce a pretty big tree, but it won't be that dense. It's mostly these little leaves. And also it only produces one fruit, so it really doesn't need that much nutrients. If you were planting something like an orange tree or many other things I wouldn't suggest putting them in pots I'd plant them in the ground or at least I'd start them in pots and then put them in a bigger pot or in the ground in regards to what pineapples I got I just went to the store and I bought as many top on pineapples as I could it's become more common uh, for the stores to remove the top of the pineapple this is most likely to stop us from growing them at home but there still are plenty of places that do keep the top on also it tends to be pretty seasonal in most of the year when you see the pineapples, they won't have the tops on them, but uh, some seasons of the year, around the summertime, they might have a different kind of pineapple with the tops on them. So just as soon as they do, just pick them all up. I cut up the pineapple into cubes and threw it in my freezer and it'll last a very long time in there. Once you've cut the tops off, you can either just put them straight into the ground or put it in a little bowl of water and that'll make it last pretty much indefinitely. The uh, pineapple can last months without putting in water but uh, it will start to grow roots in water and I didn't really know when I'd get to this. I cut these up I believe yesterday. So to be safe after I've cut them up I'd put them in water but you really don't have to. Now you could just plant the pineapple tops directly in the ground but I'm going to use some premium potting mix. This only costs like four and a half dollars per bag so it's really not that expensive 
and I bet these two bags will be able to fill up those 13 pots with no issue. If I were planting something else, I'd typically add some uh, water storage crystals. This is the same stuff that's in uh, diapers. It helps to hold on to the water so you don't have to water the plant as often. But because these are pineapples and are very drought resistant, they really don't need as much water as other plants. So I'm not going to bother because this stuff's pretty expensive. So I filled each pot about halfway up and now it's time to add fertilizer. Keep in mind these will sink down so you want to fill them a bit more than halfway up and then add your fertilizer. That's just a rough guess. Now I'll talk about what fertilizer I'll use. Now this is the fertilizer I use. It's an all purpose NPK fertilizer. NPK stands for the three macronutrients of um, plants that they need to grow. Nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus. So this is dirt cheap and that's the reason why I get it. I believe it costs maybe seven or eight dollars for this three kilogram tub. A full um, fertilizer that's specifically designed for the thing that I'm doing can cost I think $35 for the same size tub and it goes up from there. The only difference that this doesn't have is it doesn't have the trace elements in it, stuff like iron and whatever. but those will be in the soil and even if it doesn't I can just buy a, a typical liquid fertilizer and that'll have them in it and it'll be far cheaper. So I'm gonna add about a handful of this to each one of those buckets. Now I will have to add a bit more than I typically add because these are going to be in those pots for a year or two and I don't really want to have to keep adding fertilizer to them and this is a slow release fertilizer. It's got little pellets in it that will release slowly and the fertilizer will stay in the pot because it's not in the ground so I can get away with doing that. So here's a closer look of the stuff I was adding. So this is that cheap uh, regular all-purpose NPK fertilizer. Now if you're just putting these pineapples straight in the ground I wouldn't even bother with the fertilizer. We've had like I said maybe 10 pineapple plants around our property with no fertilizer just straight in the ground and they've turned up just fine so save your money. Now I'm going to fill these all the way up to the top and I do that so I could push it down a little bit and add a bit more soil because this will compress. Okay, I've got all the soil in. They're filled up to the top now. I'm going to put the tops of the pineapples in and put a little bit more dirt on and then we're finished. I think I forgot to mention, all I do with the top of the pineapples is I cut it about an inch down and that's pretty much it. You don't need to cut it all the way down that'll harm in two ways. First one is it'll give le fewer nutrients to the top of the pineapple and the second one is it'll give it less stability in the ground. Alright so it turns out I actually have 14 pineapples. This one was just a little bit away so I didn't count it up. So I'll just plant this one off camera. Now all I'm going to do is put some soil around the top until it's completely covered. You wouldn't actually have to do this this would work fine, it just helps a little bit, so I'm doing it. Now, I put all the soil in, so these are pretty much finished. All I've got to do is give these some uh, water and then find a place for them. Alright, so that's all of the pineapples in. Hey, come a little closer. So if you were just here to learn how to plant a pineapple, that's it. So you just need to let these all sit for about 18 months and you'll have a bunch of delicious pineapples. Now you can leave these in a partially shaded or full sun spot for the next maybe 18 months. In the first week, you're going to want these to water them about every day or so. After a week, you can step that down to maybe about once a week and then finally ditch them uh, of watering at all. The rain will water them. If all you wanted to know was how to plant a pineapple, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. If you want to stick around, let's crunch some numbers and figure out how much this costs. Before I give you the numbers, I'd just like to mention that these are all Australian dollars. The Australian dollar is both less valuable and stuff is more expensive in Australia than it is in the US. So if you're doing this in the US, odds are that this will be even a better deal 
uh, for you. So it's taken close to an hour to do all of this, but keep in mind things take far longer recording them than not. So it's only maybe taken about 10 minutes doing this whole process. I'm not gonna be including the price of the pineapples because you can eat the flesh anyway. So it's pretty much free getting the tops. But I used 14 pots coming in at a dollar each, which is $14. I then used about $2 of fertilizer. I used around two and a half bags of soil coming in at $4.50 each, which is something like 13 or 14 dollars and that's all to make 14 pineapple plants so all of these pineapple plants together cost me about 30 dollars if you sold each of these for 25 dollars that's $350. That's over $2,000 an hour. So you can really see how lucrative this is. Now, before you quit your job, keep in mind that this is just the minimum cost of the pineapples. We aren't including the other factors. The pineapples still need to be watered about once a week for the next couple months. They also need to be transported to the site that you sell them at. And keep in mind, you won't sell all of them. But aside from that, these almost need zero maintenance. They don't need to be trimmed or moved or really anything. Even though there's added costs that I just mentioned, there are ways to make this even cheaper. You can buy loose soil instead of in bags, which costs about a fifth of the price. I think that's everything. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like. Maybe leave a comment if you want to see the rest of my garden. With that said, keep me in your prayers. Thank you very much and God bless. I love y'all.